Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X research and professional physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one's entitled Scientists and Scientific Organizations Under Attack to be Replaced by AI. Now, in Article 769, entitled Black Hole Insanity, Science Gone Insane, I show that the recent reports of a group of scientists having been able to photograph a black hole is a completely fabricated story as there is no way that any analysis, no matter how insane, can come up with a photograph that was already in existence over a year before. The proposed analysis as described by Katie Bauman, who you see here, a supposed professor at Caltech is, however, completely insane. As she talked about taking a signal from an area of space that is only one pixel for the Hubble telescope and that was much fainter than the noise. It would be completely impossible to therefore get anything intelligible out of the signal. But she proceeds to describe more impossibilities in the proposed method, which tells me that this talk that she was filmed giving was a complete sham. It is fake, and she's not a true researcher. She is an actress. This can therefore only be an effort by the powers that be to destroy the scientific community in the public's eye. And here you can see Katie Bauman, probably not her real name, as she must be an actress, not a true researcher, as no true researcher would come up with the insane analysis method she talks about in this fake seminar. This is not the first time that something like this has occurred either. I showed in Article 463 entitled On NASA Mars Missions Real that the last NASA attempt to land a rover on Mars was a complete fabrication as well. And all the mission control specialists were in fact actors and even behaved like actors. They did not even try to behave like real technicians do. They showed their emotions with their whole bodies and the moment the rover supposedly landed, they all got up to talk and celebrate. Thus abandoning their supposedly piece of priceless technology that had just landed on another planet to fend for itself everyone having lost interest in the device. Thus it seems that the acting was done on purpose to indicate that it was a fake mission. But why? Why would the powers that be want the world's population to realize that NASA is having fake missions? Why do they go as far as published photographs that clearly show astronauts on a fake ISS? If they had developed all these methods to fool the public for so many years, why would they want to now tear all, the wor all that work down with bad acting and by purposely releasing evidence that it is fake? And these are screenshots from that uh, attempt to land the rover, supposed attempt, it was all fake. And if you watch this man, he makes surprised facial expressions as the probe was being reported to be about to land. Seemed to go out of his way to portray a feeling that the landing might go wrong. And then show this elation as it apparently landed with his full body. This is not how you would expect a technical specialist concentrating on his job to act. Technical people show very little emotion, especially when they are concentrating on a technical job. This is how you would expect an actor to act in the absence of any ability to show any actual data pertaining to an actual landing on Mars. This seems to be the actions of an actor, not a technical person. And the thing is, actors know how to act like technicians. The script tells them to act a certain way, and they do so. This actor was told to act not like a technician. This is a photograph of astronauts on the ISS taken with an open window behind them. There's the open window. Notice that their shirts have been purposely pulled up in order to make it appear that they are in zero gravity, but yet the window was left open, so they cannot be in zero gravity. They are, this means that 
well, at least the message from this photograph would be that there are no astronauts training on an ISS. These cannot be astronauts training on the ISS, as they are clearly doing everything possible to act as if they are in space. So this is all done on purpose. And the window was left open on purpose, because if this had been a mistake, this would have been discovered in processing and they would have deleted the image. They obviously did not. So this was done on purpose to show the public that there is no ISS. There are no astronauts on the ISS. It's all fake. And this is not just being done by NASA, but also by the Chinese Space Agency and even Israel with their latest attempt to land on the moon, who both showed clear and undeniable evidence that what was being done was fake through photographs that could only have been made to purposely look fake. And this is the supposed selfie taken by Israel's first probe to the moon, which cannot in any way be real and indicates that this is an imaginary or publicity stunt mission only. The plaque seems to have been placed in that position as if part of a window dressing display. Any jolting would cause this plaque to fall off the probe. It's only connected through this pin thing there. In addition, and it, it, it doesn't even look metallic, it looks like it's made out of plastic. In addition, the Earth seems to be hanging from a violet colored string. It does look like the violet line continues below the Earth. Uh, but the fact that it is not seen in front of the Earth suggests that the violet line effect below the Earth was added. It's not seen in front here. And if they wanted this to look more real, they, in processing, would have covered up this purple line. They purposely did not do that because they wanted people to know it was fake. They did this on purpose to show that this mission was fake. You may look at Article 662 and title something very wrong with the Israel moon probe selfie. And then there's the Chinese mission to the backside of the moon, which produced this photograph. And I believe this was it's from February 2019. And the moon obviously has a fake edge. Look at that edge there. The edge seems to be made of pixel squares, which are aligned along the edge. They are aligned along the circumference of the moon. Whilst the rest of the image... The pixel squares are aligned horizontally. This can only have been produced by creating the edge separately from the inside part and could in no way be possible in an actual photograph. In addition, the moon image is in black and white and the earth image is in color. This could only have been produced by combining a black and white image with a color one. This is, cannot in any way be a photograph, but it, it's so fake it's so obviously fake that they had to do this on purpose to make it look fake. And you may look at Article 6 of 6 for more details. Here's a close-up of that edge on the moon. You can see the horizontal and vertically aligned pixels in uh, the central part. On the inside part, the edge... You can see the little squares are different sizes as well, and they aligned along the circumference. So um, this is the Earth, and there's a large square pixel all the way around it, so it was just added. Clearly, it does not look like the Earth either. So this was made to look fake. This, the public was supposed to see that it was fake. It was done on purpose. Both the Israeli image and the Chinese image are obviously made to be easy to spot that they are fake. These images leaked, um, the leaked fake ISS images, the obviously fake Mars rover mission, and now a fake black hole photograph image in which actors were used shows that the powers that be have a desire to mock 
real scientific endeavor and to destroy the reputation of both scientists and scientific organizations in the public's eye. And why would they want to do that? They obviously obviously want to destroy the current scientific knowledge base and replace it with something else that is easier to control. In other words, AI or artificial intelligence. They will replace the need to read research articles or doing any real research with simply asking AI how it works. After all, most of research nowadays is simply a case of running uh, simulations through a computer and if it does not agree with reality it does not really matter the simulation has to always be right because we must agree with the theory no observations are required this is how scientific endeavor is carried out nowadays which I don't agree with but that is the way it is so now it's going to be taken a little further. So this is just taking it a little further. The computer will run the simulation and interpret the result and let you know the conclusion. No need for any scientists whatsoever. That's who they're doing away with. In addition, they want to replace an AI computer with every individual um, so you can carry a conversation with it all day long and so that it can answer all your questions. This means that instead of praying or talking to God in the course of your day in your mind, you can talk to AI, the new God. So the father of lies government of this world seems set to replace scientific research and scientists with AI. And in conclusion, science has had a high status in society up to now. Scientists are looked up to by most people within society. But it seems that in the new world order, this will be gone. Scientific research and scientists' efforts will be replaced by the new AI god that will have all the answers. And these are the references. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X physicist. Thank you for watching.